there. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build an affiliate blog post so you make more money through your affiliate sales using Divi. So, hi, I'm Susie. Thank you for watching my video. If you can hit like, subscribe, and click on that little bell, it would mean the world to me. First of all, before we start this video, what page builder do you use? Do you use Divi, Elementor, Gutenberg, Thrive, Brizzy, um, Groundhog, I think that's one too. Um, let me know in the comments which one you use. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an affiliate blog post using Divi, but I'm also going to show you in following videos how to do it with Elementor or the Gutenberg page builder. I do like and use both page builders, Divi and Elementor. If you're wondering which one is right for you, there is a blog post below so you can find out which one you should be using and which one you'll like more. All right, so if you want to see the end result of how this affiliate blog post looks in Elementor, Divi, or the Gutenberg Builder, this is what it looks like. All right, so I'll just scroll through it. This is what the blog post, when you try to um, promote more affiliate products, this is what it can look like in Elementor. You can kind of see, very beautiful, clean. This is what it looks like in Divi. Beautiful, clean. And this is what you can do with the regular WordPress Gutenberg editor. Again, very simple and clean. We're not trying to do very elaborate blog posts. Um, you can kind of see the difference between what it looks like if you use different page builders. If you do want to see these live, I'll add the links below so you can check out each one of these blog posts and kind of get a feel for them um, as a user. And then if you do need any keto snacks, you can obviously go through my affiliate links. I appreciate it and buy some awesome keto snacks to, um, to live a more low carb lifestyle. Anyway, thank you so much guys. And let's get into the video. But for this tutorial, let me show how to create that affiliate blog post in Divi. All right, let's get right into it. All right, I'm going to go to post, add new, because I'm going to create an affiliate blog post. And just for the fun of it, um, I Googled the best hair dryer for 2020. All right, so what happened when I did that, best hair dryers for 2020, I see this come up. And I click through on the blog post that actually has this snippet from Google um, because obviously Google thinks this one is the best. It's featuring it in very big block right there for everybody to see. So I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to try to recreate this blog post using Divi. Okay. So we're going to go and see. Doesn't seem too tricky. Um, I do not recommend copy and pasting other people's blog posts. That is illegal, but we're going to look at this as an example and follow the same format and structure. Okay. So let's go back to our post. All right. And just for the fun of it, we're going to do best keto snacks, best keto snacks on Amazon prime for 2020. Okay. So snacks you can buy on Amazon, super quick, deliver to your door in two days hopefully satisfy your cravings. Okay, so what we're gonna do, there's two things you can do with the Divi Builder. You can either use the new Divi experience, which then eliminates your ability to use Gutenberg, or you can use the Divi Visual Editor so that um, you can still use Gutenberg. So if you are in Divi land, you might understand what I'm saying here. Um, currently, I have disabled Gutenberg, so I'm gonna show you what the new Divi experience looks like. And obviously you guys can see the classic editor here. Click on use Divi Builder for this blog post. I do not recommend writing all your blog posts in a page builder. So either Elementor or Divi. I don't recommend that because it makes things a little harder to update. But if this is one of your pillar posts, you're going to drive a ton of traffic to it. You really want to customize the layout and how things look. Then, okay, you can make an exception and use a page builder, but most of the time your blog post should be in Gutenberg. For this example, I'm going to show you how to use Divi. Okay. We're going to build it from scratch and this is the new Divi experience. So you can see we're building while still on the back end of WordPress. It's still using the dashboard here on the side. You can see that. Um, and we're actually like, it's the visual builder, but it's on the back side of WordPress, which it just allows it to be a little faster. So it's a little speedier and you can add, different sections, text, you can see just kind of, it's, it's more jumpy. It's more, more, um, 
responsive. So I personally, because I don't create all my um, blog posts or all my pages with Divi, like I, I reserve my, my sales pages and my front pages for using a page builder. So I am okay using the visual editor and still using Gutenberg on my blog because I do like to use Gutenberg on my blog posts. So just want to show you, this is the new Divi experience, but I'm going to go back and disable the new Divi experience. So I use Divi visual builder, very confusing. But if you guys know, if you're in Divi, you understand what I'm saying. Okay. So we're going to go back and I'm going to, um, move this one to trash. Let me just copy my title there, leave. And we're actually going to go in to the Divi plugin settings. So I only have the page builder on here. I don't have the whole theme builder. So it's plugin options. If you have the Divi theme builder on your site, it would be theme options. And you're going to go to the advanced tab and disable the classic editor. Okay. So we want to use Gutenberg instead and we click on save. All right. So now when we go back to posts and we click on add new, you can see we're not going to be seeing the classic editor. We see the new Gutenberg editor. Okay. So it's prompting us. Do we want to use Divi? Do we want to use Elementor? Do you want to use Gutenberg? So then you'll just click on default for this example. We're going to use the Divi builder, but now it's going to jump and go to the visual editor instead of working in the back end of WordPress. Okay. So this is normally what I do. I work on the front end in the visual builder um, because I don't create all my pages and all my blog posts with a page builder. Okay. So let's go and create this blog post. Best hair dryers. We're going to copy something, use the same format, and I'll show you how to do this on Divi. Okay. So first thing we want a text box here with uh, probably an H2 and then an H3 image button text. Okay. Let's copy that first. So first thing we're going to do is text, add a nice big text one, best keto snacks on Amazon prime, which that is going to be our title. So we're going to change it a little bit. You can find right now. Um, okay. And then our first keto snack is going to be these cookies I just ordered high key cookies. So let me show you what these look like. They were decently yummy, like not like a legit real chocolate chip cookie. That's insanely sweet, but it was good. It was good. It satisfied the craving. Um, okay. So that's going to be our high key snack. What's this called? High key snacks, high key chocolate chip cookie. Okay. So high key chalk chip cookie. And we're going to make this our H2. This is going to be an H3 and let's see here. They actually have the numeral there. So I'm definitely going to add the numeral might make it easier for Google to pick up. Okay. So we have our first box there. Now we want to add an image, but this image, um, we're not actually going to create an image. We're going to create, get the code from Amazon to pull the image from Amazon. Cause you're not allowed to take screenshots or save the images from Amazon. Cause even they don't own the images. It's all the rights of the manufacturer or the person who is selling this. Um, and then the button. Okay. So we're going to go back to here. We're going to click on our, use our site stripe, click on image, one large one, and I'm going to copy the code, go back here, add another text box. But in this one, I'm going to switch over to the text side and then paste my code there. Go back to the visual side and center it. All right. So we have our cookies and our image next one. And even on this post, I mean, if they made that image clickable, that might increase their click through rates to Amazon and not just use the button because most people click on images. So I advise you to use the image code. Okay. Next thing is the button. So we're going to click on our little add a module again, button. Right. And what did they say? View on Amazon. Say view on Amazon. And our link will be our affiliate link. So now we just want the little text link. Copy that. Bring back into there. 
And what we want to do is center that button. They have it green. I've seen sometimes the yellow buttons do just as well as green buttons because people are used to seeing yellow buttons on Amazon. So you can decide if you want to keep it green. Green means go. So people are inclined to green to click on green buttons, depending on which one you want to use. We're going to click on button, use custom styles for it. The text color, I'm going to make white and our background. Let's make it that green, but a darker green because there you go. Okay. Okay. And then below that, we'll add a little text box. And we're just going to repeat what Divi is saying here. So pretend you're actually talking about the cookies, how great they are, um, the reviews, your personal experience, and why people should buy them, and what they taste like compared to non-keto food. Don't want to say normal food, just non-keto stuff. Um, okay, so here we have our first section. Let's see here, kind of looks good. Okay, let's do the second section so that you guys can see a little bit more. And I like what they did here was best hair dryer 2020. So very short and simple. So maybe we'll do that. Best keto snacks 2020. Keep it simple. Okay. And we're going to add a space there. We're going to make this nice and bold. And they centered theirs. So we're going to center ours too. All right. Fancy. Now what we can easily do is because all of this is in a blue module or blue box, <laughs> it's probably a better name for it. I'm just going to duplicate it. You can see it's down here. I am going to delete the title here because so once is good. And then I'm going to find my next snack. What's my next keto snack? What have I recently bought? All right, found it. So this is very similar to Nutella tasting. Not exactly the same guys, but if you want to do strict keto and stay within super low carbs, this is really yummy. Like you, to actually think you can have something that tastes similar to Nutella on the keto diet is pretty darn awesome. And it's about the same price as Nutella. The store Nutella is pretty pricey. Um, and I mean, it takes you two, three, four months to get through this. Hopefully no less. <laughs> um, okay. So this is pure organic hazelnut spread with coconut or cocoa keto friendly. Um, okay. We're just going to take that as the title puree. I guess that's what they call it. Puree. Okay. That's our next one. Number two. Okay. And we're going to go back to Amazon. We're going to get our image large and in charge avocado per day. Okay. And go back to our settings. So once you've done one section like this, it's easy just to repeat it for the future products. All right. And make sure to update your button URLs because I'm like the buttons are going to look the same like view on Amazon. Make sure that these links are actually to the right product. Um, after you publish your post, double check all of your links to make sure they go to the right things. OK, so we have our Amazon link for this one. Put that in there. OK, so this is how you can go through and write an awesome affiliate blog post on Divi using the Divi Builder. Okay, let's see a little bit more. If they have anything else here. So they just keep going through all the hair dryers. Pretty nice and fancy. Okay, and here at the bottom, they have more text. What to look for if you have finer, thin hair. Um, do you have a lot of hair? Go for a titanium dryer. So they're giving some tips underneath the post of talking about the hair dryers. I think this helps them um, rank higher in Google. I mean, they are ranking number one for this snippet. So adding a little bit more text, more helpful questions, FAQ that people normally have about this topic. They were talking about hair dryers um, for our topic, probably FAQ on the best keto snacks. How many carbs can you eat? Um, should I eat? Should I snack on keto? Should I not? just normal FAQ that people have about this topic. I think that would be helpful to include at the bottom to increase your rankings on Google. Okay. So once this is done, we'll just add some a section down here. Uh, 
um, FAQ about keto snacks. And then you can go in question, question, question here. Okay, I think that would be super helpful. All right, so once you build a blog post that is so highly affiliate um, targeted to have people click through and depending on what affiliate program you use, I mean, this doesn't always have to go to Amazon. It could go to another affiliate program that might give you higher commissions. Um, once you create this blog post, make sure to promote it and link to it in most of your other blog posts, if applicable. Um, to drive traffic to it. Because if you don't get any traffic to your affiliate blog posts, you can't make any sales. So make sure to not just write the blog post, but to actually promote it as well. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Um, I'll also create videos on how to do an affiliate blog post with Gutenberg and the Elementor page builder. Again, thank you so much. Please subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.